Chapter 357 Meeting the Realm God A few days later, old Taoist Peng wanted to meet Li Kai, so Kai Zidi went to inform Li Kai. The atmosphere inside the room was peaceful. Chen Beijia was sitting on a chair that was meant for imperial consorts. Although she was charming and seductive, her appearance at this moment also carried an air of divine nobility. This air, combined with her alluring face, painted quite an enticing picture. Li Kai was resting his head upon Chen Beijiao's thighs while she gently caressed his head. Her plump breasts were almost covering his face. Li Xuang Yun, who was standing to the side, was holding a scripture. She was chanting true mantras and slowly reading the profound words from it. Her voice was clear with a hint of coldness. As she was reading, flowers of ice were born alongside blooming snow lotuses. Chen Beijiao's entire body was misty like a flowing spring. A dense divine breath filled the room as if Chen Beijiao was a surging sweet drop of dew, nourishing the resting Li Kai. Primordial chaos was surrounding Li Kai's body and it completely hid his face. In this world, the essence of a primordial breath was the richest in vitality, so anyone who felt Li Kai's primordial breath would feel their own blood energy brimming with life. Kai Zindi, who was standing at the door, was very envious of this scene. Such tranquility caused her heart to flutter at this indescribable mood. It was as if an immortal monarch was explaining the mysteries of this world. After Li Xuang Yin finished reading a section from the immortal scripture, Kai Zindi quietly spoke, Senior Peng from the academy wants to see young noble. If it wasn't for old Taoist Peng wanting to meet Li Kai, Kai Zindi wouldn't have broken this wonderful and peaceful atmosphere. Eventually, Li Kai opened his eyes and absorbed all the primordial chaos back into his body as he sat up. He then smiled and said, Beijiao's tyrannical immortal spring physique is indeed extraordinary, very helpful. Chen Beijiao's lips burst as she replied, I am also affected by young noble's primordial energy, so I am the one who benefited. Her sultry grace left others breathless. Li Xuang Yin put away the immortal scripture and revealed a rare smile. There are three tribulations for physique, so being exposed to young noble's primordial energy along with the worldly prime liquid's essence will be very helpful for the future tribulations. The truth is that there are really only two tribulations, but between the minor tribulation and the grand tribulation, the road is so long that some people cannot hold on. They would eventually succumb to their inner demons from impatience. As long as one's Tao heart is firm, how could one lose to the inner demon? Li Kai smiled and said, Although Beijiao's tyrannical immortal spring physique is not an immortal physique, its future potential is limitless. Of course, Xu Yin's void imperfection physique is also the same. You two are cultivating the best physique clause in this world so reaching grand completion in the future is already a matter of fact. Although it will take a long time, those who cultivate the Tao will all have to experience it. There is no need to be impatient. You two need to have more confidence in yourselves as well as myself. Then, you will reach grand completion in the future. There is no need to rush for success. The level of a mortal emperor cannot be reached in one day, and neither would god kings be bestowed their titles in one night. Li Xuang and Chen Beijiao nodded their heads. Kai Zindi, who was standing nearby, also carved his word into her heart. Following Li Kai would benefit her for the rest of her life. Li Kai turned around and left. Okay, I will go see the old Taoist. In another room, Li Kai met the old Taoist. He was still dirty like before, but there was a lively smile alongside his cheerful demeanor. Seeing his happy mug, Li Kai understood, the disaster has passed, and it is time for your academy to reap the rewards. The realm god is doing just fine. It could be said that it obtained a great fortune out of this disaster. His relevance will survive in this generation without any problems. I understand your academy's wish. Of course you want the realm god to continue living, but what's the need? Li Kai shook his head and smiled. Old Taoist Peng could not answer Li Kai. This was a knot with no solution. The realm god once wanted to leave but the elders besieged it to stay. Since it grew up in the academy, in the end, it couldn't forget the great kindness and decided to stay here to guard the academy. Li Kai didn't harp about this matter any longer. This was an impassable matter of the academy, and they had discussed this for many generations. What did you want to see me for? Li Kai glanced at the old Taoist and asked, The realm god has completely recovered, and his relevance agreed to your condition. It will carry out the promise at any time. Old Taoist Peng said with a smile, The day will come. Li Kai smiled and said, However, I want to meet the realm god right now. I have a small matter that I need to trouble it with. How small? The old Taoist's heart started to beat faster. He felt that this small matter that Li Kai mentioned would not be small at all. It would surely be a heaven-piercing matter. Oh? Since when did you become such a miser? The realm god might not say yes. So why are you so alarmed? Not to mention, your everlasting courtyard usually does not interfere with anything. So why are you worrying about so many things? Ha ha. I'm not worried about anything. I am just very enthusiastic about young noble Li's matters. You are an esteemed guest of our academy. So how could we dare to neglect your well-being? Li Kai gave him a cold glance and said, Enthusiastic? In my eyes, you are simply guarding against thieves. Old Taoist, I am not aiming for your academy. Old Taoist Peng immediately solemnly swore, This is absolutely not the case. Young noble is overthinking things. May the heaven and earth be my witness. This old Taoist, no, our heavenly Tao Academy respects you as an esteemed guest. Fine, don't blabber on it on. Lead the way, I want to meet the realm god, this, um. Old Taoist Peng rubbed his palms continuously and didn't know how to say it. What? Is a simple meeting with the realm god so difficult, old man? Just say it if you have something in mind. Don't walk around in circles with me. Meeting the realm god is definitely no problem. It is just that someone else wants to meet young noble as well. Old Taoist Peng let out a wry smile. Who? Li Kai narrowed his eyes and said. He then noticed the old Taoist's facial expression change greatly. After all, 
Not too many things could escape Lee Kai's eyes. He took a deep breath and then sent a chilling gaze towards the old Taoist as he asked, Is it Magu? Yes. Old Taoist Pang rubbed his palms together and said, The matriarch wants to meet you, you told her? Li Kai glared at him and spoke. The old Taoist's heart shivered as if a fierce beast was stalking him. After becoming an ancestor, he had not felt this sensation for a very long time. Of course not. How could I dare to do so against your wishes? The truth is that I didn't meet the matriarch, but today, a message suddenly flew out from the everlasting courtyard and said that she wanted to meet young noble. In my opinion, the matriarch saw you when you saved the realm god. Li Kai paused for a moment. Magu, the passage of time has eroded many matters. There were so many memories that should have just faded into dust. If you refuse to go, it would be very awkward for me seeing as how I'm her grand disciple. Old Taoist Pang awkwardly smiled. Hey, even if you go and meet her reverence, you won't lose anything. Just go and meet her. Our academy's disciples will dream for a meeting. But we are not allowed. Li Kai softly sighed and said, Fine, I shall meet her. Inevitable matters couldn't be avoided. Good. Excellent. Old Taoist Pang happily exclaimed, Then I will show you the way and finish my mission. No, we will go meet the realm god first. Li Kai spoke, I will speak with the realm god, then meet Magu later. That is fine too. Old Taoist Pang would agree with anything Li Kai said as long as he was willing to meet Magu. The smiling old Taoist stood up and quickly led the way in case Li Kai suddenly changed his mind. Deep in the academy, Li Kai met the realm god once more. Today, it was very vigorous and vibrant. Although the pine tree was not very tall, it seemed to be able to pierce the heavens. The realm god towered like a monstrous giant, causing others to look up at him. The realm god could assume a human form, but since it took root in the academy, it preferred to maintain its original form and spoke with its divine will. An ancient voice appeared. The younger generation will surpass us in time. You dealt with my calamity and saved the heavenly Dao Academy in exchange for a single favor. This is too advantageous for the academy. Li Kai smiled and said, It was just the natural order of things since both sides benefited. There was no reason for me not to do it. The pine tree seemingly nodded as if it was a person and said, I can fulfill the promise whenever you wish. The day will come. Li Kai smilingly replied, But first, I have a small matter that requires your assistance. Go ahead. If it is within my capability, I shall lend you a hand. This was the realm god, an unrivaled existence in the current world. It was surely capable of many things. Things deemed impossible by others could easily be dealt with by it. I want to visit the sacred nether world. Li Kai spoke, Realm God can reach myriad domains. So I'm sure this matter will not be difficult, to the sacred nether world? The Realm God answered with surprise, It is possible to take you to the sacred nether world, but I cannot guarantee the specific location of arrival. 